Couldn't wait for it, running out of pain storage We was made for it, now we getting paid for it Ay, upstairs with the champagne pouring It's just different when it's a self-made story And I know I got more to prove, I wasn't born to lose I can't do mediocre, gotta be go to prove I'ma tell you to walk in them, but you can't afford the shoes Settle if you wanna, but I gotta be go to prove Oh. What's up, Bullet World? Today is the day we live, man. I got my man, Aaron, of uh, Queen City Bullets. Bullet Talk with Will, episode three. What's going on with you, bro? Can you hear me, bro? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on? Man, it's a beautiful day, bro. I can't complain. What you got going on, man? Can you hear me, Rush? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, okay. Y'all say what you got? What you got going on, man? Man, you already know, man. I'm 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 working, man. I'm sitting right here with these puppies I got right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, I got a, I got a few questions I want to ask you, bro. So, um, first thing first, how did you get uh started? How did you get started in the bully game, bro? How long have you been in the game? Power on. Uh, Bluetooth pairing. Can you hear me well? Yeah, I can hear you, bro. All right, I'm good now. I couldn't really hear it at first, but I can hear real good now. Okay. I'm ready okay, to go. Okay, cool. Now, I, see, I, I got a few questions for you. Uh, how did you get, get started in the bully game, and how long have you been in the game? Oh, man. Okay, so I started back in 2016, what was that, like six years ago now. Uh, I got started, man. I stumbled across some bullies on Instagram. Okay. And I went down, I kind of went down the rabbit hole on YouTube. I typed in American Bully and just started going crazy, seeing different dogs and stuff, you know. And I got word that it was a dog show up there in Ohio. So I went up there to that dog show and then once I seen the dogs in person, bro, you know, and put hands on a few of them, that's really when I was like, damn, but I I say I was never the same after that day, you feel me? Hey, I heard that. I already know. I already yeah. know, bro. For real. Hey, 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 I've been following you for a while now on uh on YouTube and Instagram, man. You doing your thing, bro. For real. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, bro. So bro, what is your what is your ideal look and style for a bully? In your in your opinion, in your best opinion, what is your ideal look and style for a bully? Well, for me, you know, I like them short, you know, like 13, 12 inches. But then I like them to be still functional, you know. I like them to be short, compact, but fully functional, you know, good movement, show quality, you know, as far as the functionality, you know, smooth from front to back, good front, you know, tight feet, cat like feet, you know, a good rear. You know what I'm saying? With nice, yes, sir. Nice, it was good angulation. You know, good top line. You know what I'm saying? I like a powerful chest. You know, a, a wide, a wide front. You know, muscular uh, shoulder. You know, I like them to have that extra layer of muscle on their on their shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you know, sir. Like yes, sir. Head, but then I, I say that to still say I like them to be fully functional. So, you know, healthy. You know, I know you really, you know, it's hard to get all of that in one package, but that's why we breathe, you know. So, yep, okay. exactly, exactly. Now, hey, now let, tell, tell me about your boy, uh, Believe, man. Because that boy, uh, hey, that boy is something serious, man, from what I can see. I never seen him in person, but I'd love to see him in person one day. So just tell the people about that, about that boy, man. Oh, uh, man, Believe is going crazy, you know. I, uh, a lot of people don't really know this, but I actually fought Believe. Um, when he was a puppy, I was looking for a female. I was looking for that brim bud, you know, brim bud, super hot right now. He's going down. So I wanted to add that blood to my program. I was going to buy a female. But then when I saw Believe, you know, it was just like, you know, scratch that, you know, change the plans, bro. I need I need that boy, what it's going to take, you know, to get this boy. I, I know it's a girl, but I need that boy, you know. So I got him, you know, fast forward, just just promoting the hell out of him, bro, you know, and that he, he for real make it easy for me, you know, he's so okay. nice, I just, I put him out there, you know, and people just respond to him from there, he didn't drop down, he, 
he a year and a half, he would probably drop like ten litters already, and maybe got like maybe five or ten more coming soon. So he definitely putting in work. For it. I heard that. Hey, so what? What do you got? What you got his stud fee at right now, man? If you want to share that with the people right now. Yeah, right now I just raised the stuff here to three K, so he has three K as a zone first five hundred to lock him in. Um, I'm probably gonna let him sit at that three K for just a little while, see see what he do. Um, he produced him his ass off from me, guys. So you know, I feel like I had to bring him up. I had him at two K, but I felt like that wasn't enough, especially for what he's been doing for me lately. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna let these pups that I got uh, that he producing right now kind of grow and flourish and. Sure, you know what I'm saying? And then if I really, really like what I'm seeing, once they hit a year old and stuff like that, then I kind of, you know, revisit and see if I need to raise that stuff. Yeah, you know. I heard that. So, um, what's some of the obstacles as a breeder um, that you had to, had, had you had to deal with and how did you um, overcome whatever obstacle it was as a, as a breeder? Oh man, that's a good question, bro. I say like one of the big obstacles that I had to overcome was like trying to trying to like do this at a high level and then still like have a a job per se. You know what I'm saying? Like a full time job where you working for food on the heavy with them. You got this dream, you know what I'm saying, where you trying to breed dogs at a at a high clip, you know what I'm saying? And it's like true, true, you know, true. Like I'm two letters at a time and then you know I'm trying to be at work on time and you know what I'm saying, have my head and in, in, in my job and, and not exactly at home with my dogs and you know what I'm saying? Like that's definitely a um a huge obstacle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah bro, because you hey you be having them you be having them litters dropping back to back, bro. Well you ain't playing, right. bro. Right, you be having to have to drive too, man, and whip them litters, go to work, you know, take care of your family and still do everything, everyday life, but then at the same time, the puppies kind of need to go undivided to take the food, you feel me? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, what would you say to a new breeder that's trying to get started in the bullet game? Sure, bro, be patient. And the number one thing is just, bro, Believe in yourself and do it. Do it your way. You know, it's a million ways you can go about doing it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Do it your way. Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So now I'm about to I'm about to pick your brain a little bit, bro. So give me your give me your top ten your top ten bullies in the game right now. It don't have to be in no specific order. Just give me your top ten. All right, this probably gonna be like a mix of bullies that uh, American bullies and exotics too, though. You know? Oh, that's cool. They, hey, they all bullies. Right. Okay. So I'm a. Uh, let's see. I gotta throw Brim in there for sure. My boy believe that. I'm gonna throw my boy believe in there too, cause I ain't gonna lie. I've seen a lot of bullies, but you know, and he one of my favorites for real. Man. I heard that. Hey, I ain't mad at you for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna throw him in there too. Um, Let's see. I'm gonna go back a little bit to some of the OG blood. I really, I, I really love uh Crump juice, bro. Crump juice, okay. That's, uh, that's that lounge blood. I gotta throw him in there. I'm gonna throw um. Let's see what's that three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some exotics in there for you too. Uh, uh, D- uh Dizzy Devil. I gotta throw him. Yeah, in he there. not, he nice. He definitely nice. Yeah, and then one of his sons, my one of my favorite dogs, Busy Bone. You know, what's that five right there? Yeah, yup. All right, and then I'm gonna come with another five too. Okay. So then after them five, um, it's a dog named Roku that's owned by uh damn, her name Paulina Game. She uh she a uh, a dog handler. I can't think of what the name of her kennel is right now, but she out of Indiana. It's a fine grand champion dog in Roku. I really like him a lot. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that one out. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send you some pictures in there so you can check them out. I'm gonna throw him in there. Um, let's see. I gotta, I gotta throw Rocco in there too, just because of what he meant, uh, means to the okay. breed, what he didn't do for the breed. So I'm gonna throw him in there too. 
Um, I really like that dog. Uh, uh, K2, fan game bully. K2, he, uh, chaos son. You he say his name is K- K2? Yeah, y'all, y'all his man K2, y'all, 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 he, okay. he, uh, um, he owned and produced by fan game bully camp out there in Indiana. Definitely, uh, like him. But, uh, let's see, uh, what I gotta give you, two more? That's seven, you owe, uh, three more. Okay, I'm gonna go with Lucky Luciano too, man. Hey, I was waiting. I was I was waiting on you to say that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go with him too, man. He's one of the cleanest American bullies you gonna find man, for sure, for sure. Absolutely. Um, I done kind of moved away from the Louis V, but I'm gonna go with Louis V too because when I first first uh, stumbled across the breeze, that was one of the dogs that I just fell in love with. Beautiful dog. Okay. Then, so that, that's uh, nine right now. So hey, that last okay. one gotta be something something crazy. <laughs> okay, just out of respect for the OG, you know, he damn near uh got all of these dogs, got him in the pedigree. So out of respect for him and what he means to the breed, I feel like the American bully breed wouldn't be where it's at today if it weren't for the OG back. So I'm gonna throw him in. Okay, 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 cool. That's a, hey, that's a good that's a good top ten, bro. For real, that's a real good top ten. I got a question too, though. Um, I know it's a lot. It's a lot of nice dogs in the in the bully world. So I'm gonna ask you about the, the Joker's Wild. Now, you know, I got a dog from you as well. Of course, I got Payday, and then my cousin right. just got um just got Tri County. So, what do you think about the infamous Tri County? Oh man, Tri County, man. Let me tell you, Tri County really took my program to another level. You know, um, I remember the first time I seen Tri County on Facebook. I I wasn't even friends with his owner at the time. I just stumbled across his page on Facebook. I'm like, damn, who is this dude? I got this Joker's Wild uh, boy right here. And then I come to find out he was right here in the city. You know, me and him kind of linked up, and uh, we decided to. Do some collaborations. We ended up breeding Tri County to my girl Starfire's wife. You know, okay, bred, okay. Red Twin, he dropped some fire from it. That's how I produced Bubby, you know, and, and the girl Nairobi that got the uh, I believe puppy right now. But we like what we've seen so much, bro. I just felt sort of like when she came back and he was here, I wanted to do it again. You know? So we ran it back. He did it again. You know what I mean? Like, so Tri County, bro, I'm, I'm going to say for sure, he definitely. Change the game for me personally. Like, okay, know, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, I definitely had to ask you about old Tri County, man, since that boy should be touching down in Georgia in the next day or so. So I definitely had to ask you about him. That's good. Yeah, man. Yeah, we we can talk about these dogs all day, bro, for a long yeah, time. Sure. You know that, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, I appreciate you being on the show, bro. Appreciate you being oh, you stand up. I like, hey, I like what you're doing with your count too, man. So, Thank you, bro. I'm definitely, I'm definitely loving everything y'all doing out there, bro. Thank you, bro. I most definitely appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, how many litters do you have on the ground right now? Uh, three, bro. I got three on the ground right now. Uh. They all off of Believe, too. I got a litter that uh, I just turned four weeks old yesterday. Um, then I got another litter that turned a week old yesterday. And then okay, I got a that turned two days old today. So we working, man. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Majesty, Majesty is the one that, just, that you just did the uh, retirement breeding with, right? Right, right. She the one that's got the two-day-old puppies that I did the retirement breeding with. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, those puppies looking good too, man. And then your um, the two keepers that you got, what, what um, they of course they offer believe, and what uh, female was they on? They offer my girl Toya. She is a uh, she a Brim grand, or I'm sorry, a Brim granddaughter. Okay. So she uh, yeah, yeah, she rocko blood as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man, you doing some big things over there, bro. Like really, really trying to over there, man. You know, everything kind of picking up right now. 
at a fast pace, but I feel like, bro, we really just can you know. I heard that. I heard that. Much love to y'all, too, bro, and much prosperity to y'all, too, bro, for real. Like I said, man, I appreciate having you on the show, bro. It's Bullet Talk with Will, episode three. Make sure y'all go and uh, check it out on YouTube. Also, uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Also, uh, subscribe to Queen City Bullets. Yes, sir. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, too, at uh, Queen City Bullets underscore Aaron. And you can find me on you. Queen City Bullets, yes, sir. Yeah, cause your um your, your uh, one of your accounts got uh, hacked, right? Yeah, I don't think it got hacked. I got a notification that said they disabled my account for like uh violating the, the rules or whatever on Instagram. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know they uh you can't really sell animals and stuff like that on on Instagram and Facebook. So I, I'm I'm willing to bet I probably just got flagged. You know what I'm saying? But for the type of content I've been posting lately. From there, you know. Okay, well, yeah, give the people your handle again, bro, because I wasn't trying to uh, interrupt you. I just know you had some stuff going on with the account, so you can just let them know what your Instagram and stuff is again. For sure, my new Instagram is Queen City Bullies underscore Aaron. Make sure y'all follow me, man. I'm trying to run that page back up. I had sent day on my original Queen City Bullies Instagram, but like, like you said, they, uh, they disabled my account, so we're just trying to run it back up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But again, bro, I appreciate having you on the show, bro. Uh, thank you for having me, bro. Much love and respect, buddy. Yes, sir. Couldn't wait for it. Running out of pain storage. We was made for it. Now we getting paid for it. Ayy, upstairs with the champagne pouring It's just different when it's a self-made story And I know I got more to prove I wasn't born to lose I can't do mediocre, gotta be go to prove I'ma tell you to walk in them, but you can't afford the shoes Settle if you wanna, but I gotta be go to prove Oh, 